Well, if you're a lover of men's luxury watches, you know that Geneva is a destination spot for watch collectors, and it's where you can find the finest watches in the world, especially this week. WSJ Magazine contributing editor Michael Clarizzo is at a luxury watch fair in Geneva, and he's going to tell us about some of the best watches he's seen. Michael, how are you? Tell me about this, art, this fair that you're at right now. Hello, Lee. Yes, I'm fine here in Geneva. Uh, there's a big fair going on at a, a massive hall in, by the airport in Geneva. But when this fair goes on, a lot happens out in the town. And I'm right now sitting in this very hip, cool MAD gallery, which shows mechanical art, including watches from a brand called MB&F. But up at the big exhibition, which is known as SIHH, there's a lot going on. And this year we've got Ralph Lauren, who's gone all exotic on us giving us a black safari flying tourbillon, which has a black steel case. Very interestingly, a ring of wood around the dial. Now, unfortunately, we don't quite have the price for that one yet, but we do for the others, especially the Audemars PK Royal Oak Concept GMT tourbillon. Now, this is a watch that has a tourbillon, tells you the time in two different time zones, and the concept bit of it is a kind of hourglass-shaped ceramic bridge in the middle of the watch. Now, as you know, there's all these such a thing as concept cars at auto shows, but Audemars PK makes concept watches and sells them. Now, another thing we have up is from a German brand, Grand Lange Moon Phase One, now, this is an exquisitely finished watch. By that, I mean it's been polished, it's been engraved, it's been bezeled, and even the tiny screws on it, which you can't see, are blued with, blued with heat so that they turn blue. And they hold everything together. And that is an exquisite luxury watch, and its price is $48,500. Also have from Mont Blanc an Exo Tourbillon. Now, this is the most expensive watch we've seen today, $322,500. It has a very unusual configuration on the dial, the location of the tourbillon, the location of the other dials that are on there. And it's quite a mechanical delight. You can see a lot of action on the dial, a lot going on. Another thing that we've seen, big surprise, a diving watch from Cartier. Cartier, which you think of as being part of the Parisian soiree scene, part of the soiree scene everywhere in the world, has this year gone for the adventure in the brand's history and has come out with its first ever diving watch. Quite interestingly, it looks like a standard caliber de Cartier when it's not underwater, but the moment you descend into the depths, most of what you can see is only the hands and the numerals that gives you an idea of how much oxygen you have left. Quite an, an interesting development for Cartier, but, and it's around $8,200. But very impressively, we have the thinnest watch in the world from Piaget, an ultra-thin expert in watches. It's called the 900P. It's 3.65 millimeters thick. That's about 0 0.144 inches. It is the thinnest mechanical watch ever made. The dial is a little bit off center and the gear train sort of spreads around the dial like a spider's web. They've done a wonderful job making this robust enough at such thinness. And the photographs of it don't do it justice. It's in both white gold and red gold. And I happen to think it's very beautiful. And it won't, you know, back up the cuff on your shirt when you're all dressed up. <laughs> well, I, what, what a selection there. And you are the encyclopedia of watches. Thank you very much. And make sure you bring back some of those goods to New York. Thanks a lot, Michael.